Voyager 2 is heading for its closest encounter yet with the planet Neptune. It's now billions of miles from Earth. Voyager has been making new discoveries and sending back pictures from space during a fantastic journey that began way back in 1977. What if I told you a 47-year-old spacecraft just sent a signal that's freaking out scientists across the globe? Voyager 2, drifting quietly over 12 billion miles away, suddenly broke the silence with a strange transmission. No warning, no explanation, just a mysterious rhythmic pulse buried in static like something or someone is trying to talk. And trust me, this isn't part of the plan. Technical analysis and characteristics. So what exactly did Voyager 2 send back that made scientists stop everything? This beep wasn't random or glitchy, it had a purpose. This signal was different. It came through weak, almost like a whisper, but what it carried felt intentional. That alone made it worth paying attention to. Even though the signal was faint, it had a clear and steady pattern. That's rare. Signals usually break down over long distances, especially over 12 billion miles. But not this one. It held strong, like it had something to say. The strangest part was that the signal had tiny shifts in frequency, like it was changing tone on purpose. That's what data often looks like. Not noise, not a mistake. It was like someone or something was trying to send a message. Inside that signal, scientists found something really interesting. Prime numbers. These are numbers that only divide by one and themselves like three, five, seven, and 11. They don't show up by accident. Prime numbers are often used in attempts to communicate across space. They're a kind of universal math language. If anything out there wanted to say, we're smart, prime numbers would be a good way to show it. Even more mind-blowing is that the signal had symmetry. It repeated in ways that matched known mathematical patterns like pi or the golden ratio. These patterns go beyond looking nice on paper. They show up in nature, in galaxies, and even in our DNA. The signal came in bursts, hours apart, and with each burst, it seemed to grow more complex, like it was building up to something. Of course, scientists checked everything. Voyager 2's systems are working fine, no hardware issues. There was no sign of Earth-based interference. Solar activity or space noise also didn't match anything they'd seen before. This wasn't random. It wasn't a bug, and despite traveling over 12 billion miles, the signal kept its shape. Whatever sent this knew what it was doing, and now, the world is listening. With these unprecedented characteristics confirmed, the scientific community began grappling with what this discovery might mean for humanity's place in the universe. The moment that strange signal came from Voyager 2, everything changed. Scientists around the world began digging into what it could mean. Some were thrilled, others cautious, but everyone agreed this was something big. This didn't feel like space noise, it felt personal, almost like a reply. And that opened the door to some wild but fascinating theories. Many scientists believe this could be the first real clue that intelligent life exists beyond Earth. For over 40 years, Voyager 2 has been floating through space, carrying the famous golden record. That record holds sounds of Earth, greetings in many languages, and even a map showing where we are. Now, the idea is this. Something out there found Voyager 2 and understood what it was. Not just space junk, but a machine made by humans. That alone would be incredible. It would mean we are not alone in the universe. Some researchers think this signal could be a clear sign of recognition, as if something noticed the golden record and decided to respond. Maybe they listened to the music. Maybe they looked at the star map. And now they're letting us know that they got the message. Of course, not everyone agrees. There are other explanations too, some just as strange. One theory says the signal came from machines, not living creatures. These could be super smart computers left behind by ancient civilizations. Even if the creators are long gone, their machines might still be out there, drifting through space. Maybe one of them spotted Voyager 2 and decided to say hello. Another idea is that this is not a new message at all. It could be an old signal, something sent millions of years ago by a lost civilization. Over time, it may have bounced across the galaxy like an echo, finally reaching us now. Some scientists believe the signal may not even be from this universe. There could be other layers of reality, side by side with ours. 
The signal might have slipped through from a different dimension, where things work in completely different ways. Others think the signal came from a strange part of space. These are areas where time and energy behave in unusual ways. Some believe they might be natural, while others think they could be built by something or someone. Something or Yet, among all the theories swirling around this discovery, one question kept nagging at researchers. Why had this phenomenon chosen Voyager 2 as its messenger? With so many machines floating through space, it's strange that this mysterious signal came from Voyager 2. Scientists everywhere started wondering what made this old spacecraft so special. The answer might lie in where it went and how it was built. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 both launched in 1977, but they didn't take the same path. Launched in 1977 by NASA, it is currently located at a distance. While Voyager 1 traveled toward the north of the solar system, Voyager 2 headed south. That small difference could mean everything. Some experts believe Voyager 2 went through a unique part of space when it crossed the heliopause, the outer edge where the sun's influence ends. This southern corridor might not be like any other part of space. It could be a quieter zone or a special area where signals behave differently. It might even be a place where something or someone is watching. There's also a theory that the signal was triggered by proximity. Maybe something out there was waiting quietly. And when Voyager 2 passed close enough, that presence responded. Not by chance, but because Voyager 2 entered the right area at the right time. Voyager 2 also carries the golden record. That's a message from Earth, music, greetings, and sounds from our planet. If something in space noticed that, they may have chosen to respond. It moves with purpose, carrying more than parts. It carries meaning. A symbol drifting through space. Voyager 2 runs on old technology. Its signal strength is only 23 watts, about the same as a refrigerator light bulb. But even with such a small signal, it's always sending and receiving across billions of miles. That steady little voice may have picked up something newer machines would miss. Its simple design might be part of the reason it worked so well. It doesn't filter or block as much as modern systems do. That means it's better at picking up strange or subtle things. As the uniqueness of Voyager 2's situation became clear, the implications of this discovery began rippling far beyond the scientific community. Global Response and Impact The moment the Voyager 2 signal became public, everything changed. What started as a scientific mystery had become something more. It turned into something that touched every part of life, science, culture, faith, and even politics. People everywhere started paying attention. NASA jumped into action first. But NASA had a brief heart attack after losing contact with Voyager 2. Their teams worked around the clock, using every tool they had. They ran the signal through sound software, hoping to catch hidden patterns. Some tried turning it into music. Others used powerful computers to model how particles in space might have carried the signal all that way. It was more than just decoding. The real challenge was understanding what the signal truly meant. Soon, scientists from around the world joined in. Experts from Europe, Asia and beyond started sharing ideas. Everyone brought something to the table. This became a rare moment of unity, where borders didn't matter, just the mystery did. Outside the labs, the signal hit people in a different way. News channels covered it non-stop. Social media filled with theories, hope, and wonder. Some people were scared. Others felt excited. For many, it felt like something bigger than just a space story. The signal made people think about who we are and where we fit in the universe. Religious leaders began to speak about it during sermons. Some said it proved how special Earth was. Others said it was a reminder that the universe is full of unknowns. Artists made music and paintings inspired by the signal. Kids asked about it in classrooms. The world felt a little more connected and a little more curious. Behind the scenes, governments were thinking about safety. If something out there could send a message, what else could it do? Military and space officials started talking in private meetings. They looked at the risks. They also talked about working together across countries, just in case. Some details were shared with the public. Some were kept quiet. But one thing was clear. The world was paying attention. One quiet signal had spoken louder than anyone expected. 
As the world watched and wondered, scientists kept searching for answers, digging deeper into the strange and hidden parts of the signal. Advanced analysis and new discoveries. The deeper scientists looked into the Voyager 2 signal, the stranger things became. What started as a simple mystery began to grow into something far more complex. Patterns began to appear. NASA successfully averted a problem. Engineers had sent a wrong signal to Voyager 2 and had lost contact for nearly about 10 days. Old clues came back to life, and new ideas started to change how we see the universe. At first, the signal looked random, but after feeding it into smart machines, patterns started to show up. These were not normal patterns. They did not move in a straight line or repeat in any simple way. Instead, the signal seemed to be using many layers at once, almost like it was thinking in different directions. One big discovery came when scientists stopped treating time as fixed. Instead of reading the signal in order, they began to think the message might move in loops or even backwards. The signal started to look more like a thought than a code. With the help of artificial intelligence, they began building models that worked more like a brain. It was no longer about decoding numbers. It was about following the way an idea could travel. That changed everything. While all this was going on, some researchers started digging into old data from radio telescopes. They found something strange. Years ago, similar signals had been picked up but never understood. At the time, they were seen as static or ignored completely. Now, with fresh eyes, those signals started to look familiar. They seemed to match the Voyager 2 signal in rhythm and shape. Some scientists think these might all be part of a larger system, like messages moving along hidden paths in space. These paths are now being called space lines, a kind of invisible trail where signals may travel and connect. A new idea is now being talked about. What if the universe is not just made of matter and energy, but also made of information? Some scientists believe everything around us could be built from data, like a huge program running in the background. In this view, the Voyager 2 signal might not be just a message. It could be a part of that program, a small piece of the universe speaking in its own language. Some even think Voyager 2 may have activated something, like pressing a key that opens a hidden door. Armed with these new insights, the scientific community faced an unprecedented challenge. How do you respond to a message from the unknown? Once the signal from Voyager 2 came through, scientists knew they had to try something. If something had reached out first, sending a reply felt like the next step. But this was not a simple task. It was like trying to talk across a deep canyon with an old walkie-talkie. The first goal was to build a reply that made sense. The original signal had a strange rhythm, almost like music mixed with math. Scientists worked to copy that style. They built signals using patterns, soft pulses, and changes in sound that matched the original tone. Some teams tried something called harmonic interference. They sent soft waves that blended with the signal, hoping to get a reaction. Others used small bursts of energy, hidden inside layers of noise, like sending a whisper inside a storm. A few experts also worked on something called a feedback loop. This means sending a signal to Voyager 2, having it reflect or bounce back, and then sending another based on the reply. Over time, this loop might build a steady conversation, even if it is slow. There is also an idea called the living protocol. Some believe the signal might be shaped by how we reply. If true, then each message we send could change the next one we receive. It would be like learning a new language together, one word at a time. Talking through Voyager 2 is not easy. It is very far away. Each message takes around 18 hours to reach it. Then we wait another 18 hours for any reply. That delay makes every move slow and careful. The spacecraft is also very old. It has limited power and only a few tools still working. Engineers are doing their best to keep it running and fine-tune the signal it sends. Some teams looked into small course changes, trying to keep Voyager 2 close to the source of the signal. Others are cleaning up the data, removing extra noise to hear more clearly. Even with all the problems, people are trying. These communication efforts, whether successful or not, have already begun reshaping our approach to space exploration and our understanding of our cosmic future.
broader implications and future directions. The signal pushed scientists and engineers to think in new ways. One big area of growth is quantum communication. This new kind of system could send messages across space almost instantly. It may help us talk to faraway spacecraft or even answer another signal one day. There is also a strong focus on building smart translation tools. These systems use artificial intelligence to study strange messages and find meaning in them. They learn patterns, test ideas, and try to figure out what is being said without needing a human to guide them. Spacecraft of the future will also need to move and react on their own. That is where AI navigation systems come in. These programs help a spacecraft make choices by itself. This is important when a ship is too far from Earth to wait for commands. Governments and private groups are now putting more money into deep space missions. The Voyager 2 signal reminded everyone that space is not quiet. There may be more messages, more surprises, and more stories waiting out there. In schools, interest in space has grown fast. More students are signing up for astronomy and space science. Some universities are starting new programs in astrobiology and astroethics. These fields study life beyond Earth and how to act if we ever meet something out there. People everywhere are thinking more about big questions. Who are we in the universe? What else might be out there? News, shows, books and movies are all picking up on this shift. Space is now part of everyday talk. With new interest comes new responsibilities. Experts are working on a set of rules for contact. These guide how we should act if we receive another message. World leaders are talking about how to speak for Earth. This is not just a job for one country. It is a task for all of us together. As humanity grapples with these practical changes, the signal continues to inspire even more profound questions about reality itself. And finally, NASA on Tuesday said that it has found a heartbeat signal from the Voyager 2. The Voyager 2 signal has done more than spark interest. It has touched something deep inside the human spirit. People everywhere are asking big questions and exploring ideas that once seemed like science fiction. Some theories are wild, others thoughtful, but all of them remind us how little we know about the universe. One idea suggests that the signal is not just a message. It could be a kind of test. Maybe it was meant to see if humanity is ready to notice something different, something not made by us. If a greater intelligence is watching, this could be their quiet way of reaching out without stepping in too soon. Some scientists are also thinking about time. A few believe the signal might come from the future. Maybe it is not from aliens, but from future humans. It could be a message sent back through time. There are also ideas about time loops, where the same events repeat again and again until something changes. The signal might be part of that loop. There is even a theory that something ancient has been reawakened. Maybe Voyager 2 passed near an old machine floating in space. That machine could have been waiting for a long time, built by beings who no longer exist. When Voyager 2 came close, the machine sent out the signal. Some people are also looking at the past for clues. Ancient civilizations had strange and detailed knowledge of the stars. Some of their buildings point exactly to certain parts of the sky. A few believe there might be patterns hidden in old texts or symbols that match the rhythm of the Voyager 2 signal. Others think contact may happen in cycles. It may not be the first time this has happened. Maybe humans have heard these signals before, but forgot or ignored them. There is also the idea that we are being watched quietly, like animals in a large space garden. The watchers are waiting until we grow wiser before showing themselves. The Voyager 2 signal has changed everything. It has turned a machine into a voice, a mystery, and a symbol of hope. No one knows what comes next, but something has started. The universe may be more alive than we thought, and this signal may be the first line in a story we are only beginning to read. Voyager 2's signal may be the start of something far bigger than we imagined. As the mystery unfolds, one thing is clear. We are not alone in our questions. Stay curious, stay tuned, and keep watching the stars for answers.